Break for police in a string of gun store robberies. Their suspect, not the smartest, was caught after taking these selfies, holding a stolen gun and posting them on Facebook. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to the owners of both gun shops that were burglarized. And Lance, they're certainly glad an arrest has been made here. And both gun shop owners have taken steps to protect their inventory. The owner of Parker Arms has even placed concrete barriers in front of his store, but they weren't enough to keep burglars out back in December. And now he's losing sleep, worrying that he could be hit again. You know, I love the gun business, and, and you know, with the, the recent rash of smash and grabs, you know, it, it just has taken the fun out of it. Robert Parker says he's thinking about getting out of the gun business. He says it's become too stressful. I wake up at 2 o'clock every morning and lie there and wait for the phone call from the security company telling me that my building's been broken into again. Police arrested Viet Trinh when he posted a selfie holding a gun on Facebook under the alias Kyle Zimmerman. Social media is not one of my favorite things to deal with, and in this case, it's, it's helped law enforcement catch somebody that did something stupid. Juan Lopez owns Shooter Ready in Adams County. His shop was hit in early November. Thieves stole 25 firearms. This shattered glass is a reminder of a more recent theft attempt, but this time, the thieves didn't break through the glass. Court documents show Trin messaged potential buyers on Facebook. He wrote, know anyone that wants to buy a baby 40? 300 bucks. When asked by another Facebook user if he had another strap or gun, Trin replied, got my nine inch with two full clips mixed with poison hollows, regular hollows, and straight metal jackets. The court document included pictures of some of the other weapons that were reported stolen from the shops. And Mr. Parker told me that with a $1,000 deductible for that break-in and a $5,000 deductible for the hailstorm, he's out $6,000 financially so far this year. Again, he's thinking about getting out of the gun shop business. In Wheat Ridge, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Incredible. All right, Lance, thank you. Now, we checked with the ATF, and they say they've had more than 200 gun store thefts so far this year. All of last year, there were 273 gun store thefts, which was a record.